I'd like to introduce Scott. All right, well, this morning, kind of excited because we have our exciting presenter, Quinn Ruffin, who's going to teach us how to really give a great presentation on the healing process. And we're going to learn more about that, but in this presentation, he's, we're to be evaluating him on his overall organization, his ability to use his voice and his gestures, like I can't speak without using my hands, and does he appear relaxed and confident? So all this goes into his preparation to become a professional trainer and motivator, and this fits directly into the man that we know he is, Quinn Ruffin, here on the healing process. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for all coming out today. I want to thank my distinguished colleague for speaking about awareness uh, because awareness is very important to our success. And it's very clear that everyone in this room is extremely successful, extremely successful. Your future is overwhelmingly bright. But it's also very clear that you cannot have a bright future or your bright future cannot be fully maximized unless we've cleared our past. And in order to clear our past, we have to get over obstacles, hang-ups. If you're in church, you might call it a stumbling block. So what I'm going to ask you to do today as part of the training, I know that we're all eating, but it won't, take a, it won't hurt too much to stop for a second. I want everyone to please close their eyes, if you will work along with us to close your eyes. And I want you to think about a moment or a time or a situation, a relationship that didn't work out quite right for you, that didn't work well for you. Let me give you an example. I haven't seen my mother in over 20, 25 years. And every time I think about it, I think I'm over it, but when it really comes down to it, I'm not. Relationships, someone I didn't like at work. <clears throat> okay, now open your eyes. How do you feel? The question is, how do you feel? <laughs> this is good. We're all in two. <laughs> Check the box on your evaluation. Says audience response. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Well, in, in 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 essence of time, I'm unable I'm unable to give the full training on how the healing process works. But we will give you a synopsis on how this works, and you can utilize this in your life, not only today but for the rest of your life, and you can share this with others so that they can overcome some obstacles in their life. Now the first thing we have to do is recognize. What is three things? You have to recognize, you have to request, and you have to repent. Now I understand that repent is a, a, a word that's used in the religious uh, form in many cases, but actually the word means to turn away from. And yes, I am a believer, so if that offends anyone, so be it. Because if you stand for nothing, you'll gain nothing in your life. All right. So therefore, I would ask you to ask yourself, have you truly gotten over the situation that you've been involved in that caused you some pain? Do you recognize that you have not overcome that obstacle yet? Even though, like myself, I rationalized in my mind, I'm over this. So much so to the point that I would never address it just so I wouldn't have to recognize that I wasn't over it. So I would run, I would duck, I would hide, I'd do anything I have to do not to address the situation, saying to myself, I'm over it. Well, really, you're not. The second thing we have to do is ask forgiveness. And we ask forgiveness for the person that we had an encounter with, even though they may not have been wrong, or even though you may have been right in the situation that you ask the person forgiveness for the way you responded. Because it's not all about the other person all the time. It's not about them, it's about you. The most, people who get paid the most in this life are the ones who know how to overcome obstacles. The more obstacles you overcome, the more you get paid. That's why the president gets paid so much. That's why people in your, in your arena that are leaders are leaders because they know how to overcome the little obstacles that we continually trip over. I'll move forward. Lastly, repent. When we come to the situation, it's inevitable that we will encounter a situation that we've already encountered in the past 
The question is, here I am again, <clears throat> now what shall I do? It's called <clears throat> cognitive restructuring, meaning you have to play the situation out of your mind again, <clears throat> plan a course of action, probably for the first time in your life, and then follow it. So I ask you, what is the concern that you have, or what is the problem that you have? If you've done these three steps, then you've taken the first step to forgiveness, because firstly, we have to forgive ourselves. <clears throat> and then some of us who are believers, if you are a believer, and I'll assume that there are some in the room, obviously there is one more, um, sometimes we have to forgive God. Isn't that crazy? Why did you take me through the things you took me through to give me what I asked you to put me? All right, this is not a, this is not a, uh, a sermon. The next question is, hmm, interpretation. The next step in the healing process is interpretation. So let me review these for you. The first step is forgiveness. To get forgiveness, you have to recognize you're not over the situation. You have to request forgiveness from the person or either from yourself or maybe just from the situation. Thirdly, you have to turn away from that situation in whatever aspect the situation exists. The second aspect of <clears throat> the healing process is cognitive restructuring. Understand that it's, it's the act that you take that will either help you to cure the obstacle that's in your mind because you do realize that we all live on memory. We're all cognitive beings. We are not instinctive. What that means is animals are instinctive. You can take any animal, put them anywhere, and generally all these animals will respond the same way to certain situations, hunger, fear, fight or flight. Human beings aren't always the same. Their habitual processes are <laughs> cognitive or learned. So you learn how to deal with situations. So you have to learn how to redeal or relearn how to deal with the situation for success. This is, what image, this is where imaging comes into play. So you have to go through the process of cognitive restructuring. Thirdly, interpret the situation. Was that situation about me or was the situation about someone else? Was the situation my fault? Or was it just inevitable? Because education comes with some sacrifices. Now these are some of the steps that you can take for uh, coming, overcoming your obstacles for the healing process. In the spirit world and religion, we call it meditation. In the business world, we call it revisiting a concern. <coughs> But in whatever aspect you decide to apply this healing process, because I don't know about anybody else, but there's always someone everywhere I go that gets, gets on my everlasting nerves. <laughs> everywhere. Why? Because I recognize that I have a strong personality. And because I have a strong personality, I draw out the weaknesses in other people. And they don't like it. And in my weaknesses, I draw out the strengths in others, and I don't like it. Unfortunately, no one paid for me to come today, so we'll cut this short. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll take a minute to complete our evaluation. <clears throat>